I really believe that maybe we don't know. I don't think anybody knows where these guys are ending up because they're not going to get anywhere near the money that people thought. And maybe it was the money that people thought that scared some of the teams off. But if all of a sudden it becomes a bargain that you can't pass up, that's why I do not, even to this point, say that the Yankees are out on Machado. Because if he's got um, offers from teams that are going to be terrible and outposts, like when Alex took the, the, the money from the Texas Rangers, right. he was miserable there for three years. He put up three great years, but then Texas couldn't handle the contract and ended up trading him to the Yankees. Maybe the price is going to fall to a spot where the Yankees go, I'm in. It might. Now, where does Philadelphia land in all this? Stuff? I don't know. Because they Andrew, were saying they what, won't get the outbid. They said they won't get outbid, but where, where are the Phillies on this? Andrew's not even listening to us. It's That's disgraceful. Right. I'm sure he's enjoying whatever he's listening wow, to. Wow, it's like he doesn't even hear what we're saying. I said, right. where are the Phillies with all of this, Andrew? W what's the deal with Machado and Harper? Are they in or are they out? What they're are you hearing? Uh, well, I'm sure I think they're in. Well, what's the deal? What, what, what's the holdup? Well, I, I don't know. I think it's probably not their decision right now. Don't you think it's kind of on Harper and Machado? Uh, the Phillies have probably made their offer, and now you've got to wait. I guess. I, I just don't understand. I, the, the, the worst thing for both of these guys was that their agents are rivals. They both want to have the biggest average annual contract, and I don't think they will. I don't think they're going to surpass what Zach Greinke is going to make this year at $34 million. I just don't think they will. I don't think they're so, going to surpass what, my, uh, what John Carlos Stanton makes. So they're just waiting what, to see what one gets right. so that they could top it even by a dollar, and they're both playing a, a game of chicken. So the, Serve your client and get the guy signed. So the message that I think these potential free agents down the road have to heed is that there may not be a boatload of money when you become a free agent. If you get an offer from the team that you're on, maybe you should take it. Harper should have taken that $300 million offer. He thought he was going to get more money. Now he may go back to the Nationals for less. So if I'm a potential free agent, Michael, and two, three years before free agency, a team offers me a bunch of money, maybe I take it. Doesn't sound like free agency is going to be the panacea that it's always been. I, I, and I also love this narrative. Oh, uh, yeah, the next year with Arenado. Really? Why him? He's older than both of these guys. If I'm Arenado, uh, he's a free agent next year. Yeah. If the Rockies make me a, a, a really good offer this season, I take it. You know who's one of the smartest people in the world? Charlie Blackman. Mm -hmm. He took their money. Yeah. Charlie Blackman on the free agent market would not make what he signed with the, with no, the Rockies. There's that's no the smart way. Thing. That's a smart agent. Don't hit the free agent market anymore until the collective bargaining agreement ends. And, and Paul Goldschmidt, Paul Goldschmidt's going to be 32 at the end of this year with the Cardinals. And they want to extend him? And he's going to test a free agent market? No. What do you think a 32-year-old is going to get on a free agent market? Just take the extension. Yeah, it doesn't make sense.